According to the Covenant House, more than 12,000 men pay to have sex with young women and men every month here in Georgia. I spoke with Annie Lobert, who escaped her trafficker. She shares her story with us. As a child, Annie Lobert grew up being sexually abused. When she became a teenager, she started using fake IDs and heading out to nightclubs for attention. Lobert says before she gave her life to God, she'd been to hell and back. I got kidnapped and and that's the night that I was in front of six pimps and I was stripped totally nude and beat with the poker from a fireplace and gun whipped in, on my head and all over my body. And my hair was shaved off that night. She said she was originally approached by men who made her feel valuable. Romantic Romeo finesse pimp type that they become your boyfriend first and they tell you, oh, you're so beautiful, you're so talented. Bobby Starr, executive director for Micah's Promise, says many children who experience trauma at a young age are targets for traffickers. Ninety percent have had or experienced childhood sexual abuse. Um, a third of runaways are approached by traffickers within 48 hours. With more than 20 years of experience, she's seen firsthand that this is an ongoing problem in the Valley. Anywhere where you have adult prostitution, they found trafficking of children as well. Lieutenant Joyce Dent Fitzpatrick from the Columbus Police Department Special Victims Unit says accessibility to the Tri-City area is attracting traffickers from across the country. Connected to two other cities and one other state, we have four bridges that connect us together to Alabama. So, um, and we have Fort Benning, and we have people who are transient. Some people come here to train at Fort Benning, and then they're gone. She also tells us which sites predators are using so that parents and their children can be aware. Facebook at the dark, which a child should not be on that. It's really like a porn site, and you have Fet Life um, that is geared towards people with fetishes. Also, you have Snapchat, kick a lot of apps. Although there is a big difference between prostitution and sex trafficking, they are loosely related. Dr. Joseph Zanga, co-chair of the Rotary Committee on Sex Trafficking, says prostitution is the willingness to engage in sexual relations or acts in exchange for money. Sex trafficking is the opposite. Girls and boys disappear. They become property of the person who is trafficking them. Starr believes more Muskogee County children need help and protection, but there is simply not enough space. 527 kids in DFAX custody, and we had less than 100 beds, foster homes, for those children to go to. They've had multiple levels of trauma for them to have been there. And those traumas are what make them vulnerable to traffickers. Starr says Micah's Promise, a ministry of Christ Community Church, is partnering with restoration homes in Atlanta to keep youth off the streets. We are working towards building a restoration home out in the country for, for girls initially who are taking out of um, exploitation. Georgia voters will be asked to vote this November on a state constitutional amendment that would allow for additional penalties for those found guilty of trafficking, prostitution, and related crimes, and to use the money confiscated to establish a safe harbor fund for survivors. Money that's going to ensure that these kids get the care that they need, and these kids are going to need long-term care to uh, to sort of re-socialize them. They need love and understanding and they need to know that they matter in this life and that what they've done does not affect who they are now or in the future. Meanwhile, Lobert hopes this story will bring the necessary awareness that sex trafficking isn't only a problem in other areas, but right here in our own backyard. Another thing to be aware of are vacant buildings, hotel and motel rooms that have a lot of foot traffic. If you see young children who seem to be under stress or look hopeless, you need to dial 911. Back to you. All right, thank you, Ashley. Lobert has opened up the Destiny House Estate, which is a 12-month program designed to address the spiritual, physical, and emotional needs of each woman. Micah's Restoration Home is waiting to obtain a 501c3 status. They're hoping to open their home to girls who have experienced trauma from sex trafficking by the summer of 2017.